I am on my way to Ricky's house right now. We have been working on converting his garage into a game room slash office slash arcade, a kind of a mix of all of them. So we're gonna check it out. I'm heading there right now. Let's do it. It's gonna be grand. Gonna be the greatest time you've ever had in your entire life, especially in the year 2020. Uh -huh. So we jumped into here, into Ricky's room, and right now there's some uh, there's some happenings going on back there. What's going on back there? Hey, what's up, man? Sam, he's hey. back. What are you doing, Ricky, right now? What's Sam doing here? Sam's gonna upgrade my arcade with what is this? A Raspberry Pi? Yeah, we're gonna do Raspberry Pi. With uh, we're gonna do the same thing as uh, Rip for him. Nice. All See, arcade. I'm just copying Rip. <laughs> yeah. I like turtles. So six, so it's gonna be running the same image mine does, Sam. Run the same image, four thousand something years. Nice, yeah, it's, it's the best, dude. Yeah. That image, I love it. All the bezels, everything. Nice, dude. Yeah, so if you've been around for a while, you'll remember that Ricky got that Street Fighter cab from Sam way back in the day on the old show. Um, this will randomly select something, and this is your main. This will be, yeah, this will be your inner button. But it was kind of a little pre-dated to Raspberry Pis and the type of emulation they have now for arcades, so he had an old school system running on it. But now it's getting upgraded, Raspberry Pi. It's gonna be the same thing I have in my arcade, and I play, my arcade is probably my most played thing in my entire gaming genre, even out of consoles and everything. So Ricky's gonna be stoked to have it. And Sam's actually gonna surprise him and put some glass on there. It's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be fun because arcades is kind of where we first got into it was at Ricky's house playing on that cab. So to get it kind of upgraded and boosted up is gonna be awesome. The best way to play it in my personal opinion. Also, welcome back to the NES Pursuit. COVID couldn't keep us down, sucker. Maverick. What's up, dog? What's up? Huh? 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 You want Pikachu? You want Pikachu's back? Nice. You're like your daddy, you everything complete. I like turtles. All right, Sam, you said you brought Ricky some surprise tea molding? Yeah. We're gonna change the trim out. We could do blue or we could do white. Ricky? Blue or white? Whatever you pick, it's all right. <laughs> I kind of like, want the white, but I think the blue makes more sense. It's gonna pop off. Yeah. The blue might off. match all that stuff up there. I think we're gonna go blue. Yeah, because your walls are white. So blue it is? Blue mm -hmm. it is. <laughs> Excited to get this tea molding on right now? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. To the, it's like Mega Man Blue. Yeah. It is pretty cool. That color is gonna make it really poppy, Ricky. And he said he even got you some like sticker decals or something for Dude, the side. That's legit. You did the best you could, Sam, and I think it's a darn good job, regardless of what Ricky says about you behind your back. <laughs> We got uh, the two Street Fighter uh, logos for the sides. <laughs> Look at these, Ricky. You got some decals for the side of your arcade. Dude, these are sick. You know what they say about the stickers? The stickers make it sicker. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna look beautiful right here. Look at that. Yeah. Oh man, that's gonna be awesome. Jurassic Park. It's oh, the greatest movie of all time right there.
gonna show the game room still in a little bit, but we don't wanna show it yet because Sam's still in there. He's still working in there. We don't wanna crowd his space. So hold tight until the arcade's done. When that's done, we will show you the game room and everything he has set up. Even though it's still not done, it's not like a game room tour, but we're still gonna give you a, a pre sneak peek of the game room tour. In our games room. What's what? next, Ricky? Glassing it up. You're gonna put some glass over it? Yeah. Let's see. So this is gonna go over the screen, Sam? Yeah, it's gonna go with the monitor. Do you have to clean this side too? Yeah, clean this side, so we'll put it in and then we can clean it up. Sound. That's the new sound of Let me hear that squeaky Ricky sound. That's not making me more. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> now it's time for the Raspberry Pi, right? Wow. Look Pi at that. Pi. So all yeah, of that goes on that, on little, that thing. little thing. Wow. Oh, pretty exciting new. That little thing. <laughs> That's everything's in there. No, well, actually, it's in the micro SD. The micro SD. Wow. In there. Dang. Small size with a lot of power. Yes. Just like Ricky's. Hair. <laughs> Break time. So say hi. Baja say fish hi. tacos, enchilada. Ricky, what's your food of choice? Uh, tacos. Tacos. Salmon son? Uh, carne asada burritos. burritos yeah. Dang. We go, we go old school. <laughs> we need a break. You always go Mexican food. Actually, you go Mexican food any time in the life. That's truth be told. Oh boy. So Sam also, we put this one on top because Ricky had nowhere to put it. That's what I can see. But look at that. He wired it for us so he can. It plugs right in. So it's you're playing two Street Fighter games at once. Pretty much. How's it feel, Ricky? Dude, not joking, the glass makes a huge difference. Yeah, that's nice. So that's not plexi glass. Yeah, that is or the beautiful shiny glass. Now. Finished product. Ricky, how do you feel about it? Dude, it's sick. Dude, it's like, look at the difference. Look at the side. Look at this. I mean, I'm going to cut this off eventually because I kind of like that. Like, what is that? Corkboard? Corkboard. That look? I kind of like that. I love this, but look at the side, dude. That, it yeah. just makes it like so much better. And he did that all without, he wasn't even telling us that he was going to replace a lot of that stuff. He dude, just I didn't did. know he was doing that. I, I was just going to get a Raspberry Pi. Truth been told, that was it. Yeah. He came over with everything. I was like, bro, yeah, thanks. I know this is a work in progress, but here's a closer look at Ricky's new game room setup. Ricky, what do you have going on and what'd you kind of do in here? Honestly, I just put all the Mario stuff here. Pretty much Nintendo stuff right here. For the most part, my powers, the bobbleheads. It's probably one of my favorite things to collect. I'm still missing a couple of them, but pretty sick. Dude, there's even stuff I got this from Jay the Generous. Just got, it's like a lot of stuff I got from people and stuff we collected together. It's just, you know, it's the wall of memories. What's up there above all this stuff? Oh, that's just, you know, boxes of stuff. Like, dude, I love Transformers, so obviously Fortress Maximus is gonna be right up there. Dude, there's the control decks up there, the Super Nintendo box, the Wii box. One of my favorite boxes, the Dreamcast box. And the cherry on top is that little Transformer. <laughs> Transformers. The Rambo lunchbox, that thing is sick. I'm not gonna lie. But I honestly have like masks up there, lunch boxes, uh, PS3 boxes, like Uncharted, Assassin's Creed. Dude, I'm just, it's still a work in progress. I'm still. I like the Menacer stuff. box. The Menacer? Yeah, the Sega Menacer. Nice. I got that from Kingsley. Kingsley? Kingsley gave that to me. I remember that beautiful <laughs> man. <laughs> and I've always wanted to honor him with my. <laughs> Matt, what's wrong? So. My favorite things to collect for like all these weird Nintendo stuff, like Nintendo powers. But what I really love collecting and looking at is this. It's like these bobbleheads, like literally like giant amiibos. Look at this. They they have like they were mainly made around like GameCube era, but like the Mario, the Link, the Samus, those Mega Man ones. Some of them aren't Nintendo. They're just like Capcom random. These are made from like a random company. I forgot the name of the company, but dude, I love these guys. They're pretty sick. I'm gonna go for the whole collection. Whether I'll get them or not, 
who knows? But I'm always on the hunt for those. I like the uh, the Pat the NES Punk Donkey Kong. That's the <laughs> classic. That's in all his videos. <laughs> I like it. Ricky, you got some cool signs up here. Some Zelda stuff. I love that Zelda GameCube. Some more Zelda stuff back there. Ooh, look at all this. I like oh, Ricky. So tell us a little bit about uh, this. I see the Donkey Kong from Mario Kart 64. You so collect some of these guys. I'm guessing, right? Yeah, I'm going for the full set on those too. But dude, they're they're hard to come by. At it. At the price I want, because, you know, we cheap. Yeah, we cheap. We real cheap. One of the coolest things I see, Ricky, is right there, you don't have to take them out, the Mario quiz cards. Oh, yeah, those are sick. Those are old school. It's, dude, it's, when I looked at them, they're not even really Mario questions. <laughs> they're like random questions. I'm like, wait, what does this have to do with Mario? I think they're for school. They are for school. I think they're just like to help kids, like, uh, learn a little bit. And honestly, I love that box. It's honestly pretty sick. I got it at a cheap price. I had to get it. That's cool stuff. It's like the oddball stuff that I love collecting. Like, I mean, who doesn't like the lunch boxes? Honestly, still though, these are probably my favorite things. Actually, Bobby helped me complete this one right here. Bobby! Bobby! And then you got your Mario's. Then I got my Mario's. It's right. funny because I can like, I can go over them and like, I kind of know who, like, where, who I got what from. Like, we got this from her. So one, yep. yeah. Lewis. Lewis. Up there. Yep. I just have to look and I can name it. Me. From your papa. Honestly, this was mainly my garage. It's just we finally decided to make it an office because I'm having meetings all day now with this COVID thing. I gotta be indoors, and that's why I can't have that during my conference calls. <laughs> As you can see, it's still a work in progress. Like, look at all this. Dude, this is my workstation. It's just, I usually throw it all off right before work. Because you're not done yet. It's, no, he's not I'm like not a He's not like a cluttery guy and this is what he works. No, this is just, he doesn't have room yet. We're yeah. not done. I, we had to make space because the arcade was going to get worked on today, but we st I still got a lot of stuff to add on right here. Like, dude, look at this. Aaron and I built this thing right off of the shelf. It, it's actually pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. This is pretty amazing. I never, I, I knew what I wanted in my head, but I didn't think it was going to turn out this cool. I like Swami. And you're gonna fill all this with games, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah, consoles, games. There's consoles in there already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's random just, stuff. yeah, random stuff. I gotta, it's, it's, a, it's a work in progress. I love that. This is the cool, one of the coolest things I got. Mario cup slash pencil holder slash thermos guy. There we go. So cool. Ricky, I like uh, your transformers over here. Dude. Is that all of them? No, it's not all of them. <laughs> yeah, of them. No, I got, I got a ton of them. It's just, I mainly put the ones up there that I, that would fit? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I still have like the Beast Wars and everything. Like literally they're like in these drawers. Look, all that good stuff. There's more in here. I kind of, I don't like putting the Transformers like in boxes so much because I feel like they'll break off. Like true. So they're mainly in plastic pieces. And when you got an untransformed Transformer and you're jamming them all together, that door falls off or that head falls off. <laughs> Just <kidding. laughs> I'm honestly trying to separate everything by like sections. So this is like my Street Fighter section, even though Alex over there fell down. This is still pretty sick. I'm I'm only missing what I think Bison on these controllers, which is pretty sick. And then I'm gonna stuff these with like Mega Man. So like honestly, this was just because I was rushing today. <laughs> oh gosh, rushing. I didn't even uh, mean to do that. <laughs> but like my some of my Mega Man stuff. Like I want to keep it in sections, like Mega Man. Make it kind of look cool still. So are these lockers are gonna be are they completely filled with stuff as well. Yeah, they're gonna be just packed. <laughs> and just so we're clear, this isn't. Even everything that's being shown isn't everything you have by any means. No, if you go back there, there's crates upon crates. It's just stuff, there's some stuff that's so awkward that you can't display it. Yeah, there's not places it's, for everything to go. I mean, it, I just keep it because it's it's stuff people gave me or like Your stuff. Your stuff. Yeah, it's my stuff. I don't want to toss it or get rid of it. It's, just, it's my stuff. Anything you want to get rid of, you can give me anyway. <laughs> Especially that Sonic I'm zooming in on up there. I thought you had that. I thought so too. <laughs> I don't. So I know you can't really see too well, but all these bins back here behind the TV are filled with games and toys and knickknacks and cool stuff. 
even has a whole thing on rollers right here that is just filled with random stuff right now, but eventually it will be filled with, you know, proper organization. There's the Street Fighter uh, Rock'em Sock'em from a long time ago. So yeah, there is just stuff and stuff everywhere. Battletoads uh, memorabilia, look at that from Rare Replay. Oh, that's so awesome. In my ah, king's room, we real cheap. <laughs> <laughs> what, were you, what were you saying about that? Dude, I love this. I love like all this old weird wood Nintendo stuff. Look at this. Whoa. I'm not gonna lie, I thought the games were gonna fall. I kinda got scared. Did you say wood and Nintendo? What? Yeah, that was a quick peek though, Ricky. It's looking really good. It's been fun to be here, by the way, and kind of join in with you and building this and getting it started. And you know everyone's gonna say, will you do an official game room, toy room tour when it's done? Yeah, I will. Yeah. You know I will. Because I'll be bugging him. <laughs> I'll be like, that's what the people want to see, Ricky. Make it happen. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little quick look at everything Ricky's building on. The work in progress. Woo! It's funny because game rooms are one of those things that you'll like, finish and then in like six months you're like oh i want to reorganize this or move this there move that here it's true it's so. never really a fully completed project it never is a fully completed project especially going to swap me here weekends we have a problem all right that's it make sure to be having an unhealthy addiction see ya